due to the overwhelmingly positive response that I got from my uh, Camp WWE review, I've decided to make this a thing, especially for season two. Why not have a little bit of fun on this wrestling channel instead of doing reviews all the time? So I'm actually going, well, I am doing a review of this, but you guys get the hint. This is actually different from, from a pay-per-view as well as a Raw. This actually is pretty fun, and I kind of had fun doing it. So I'm going to actually make this a thing for Season 2 whenever Season 2 does come out. But guys, thank you so much for liking um, my Camp WWE review. And here is another uh, two-episode review of Camp WWE for Survival Weekend. And Vince is just not, a, just not that into you. Say that four times over. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. What's up y'all, Nature Girl 30 here, and once again, I am inspired to do another two episode review of Camp WWE, because I just watched the fourth episode, and oh my gosh, it just inspired me to do another review. I loved it, but before I go into episode four, let's go into episode three, which is called Survival Weekend. Pretty much, you can just sum that up and put that all together. Now, of course, each counselor had their own ragtag group of kids. You had Stephanie with her crew, you had Triple H with his crew, and then you had Sergeant Slaughter with his crew, and it was pretty much about Sergeant Slaughter's crew throughout the entire episode. Now, there were some really funny points about this episode, and of course, my favorite one, my favorite character of this entire episode is Taker Kid. He's going to always be my favorite character of this entire Camp WWE series because he is flat out funny. It's just his humor is dry. I love it. It's just so hilarious. And it was pretty much about him. Most of the episode parts were about him finding him and all this other stuff. And I'm not going to really give too much away for those that actually do want to see the episode themselves. But for yourselves, of course. But honestly, it was just great. I, I loved it. I mean, Take Your Kid always makes me laugh every time. And there were a few scenes, the boat scene by far just had me rolling because it literally makes you think about what Triple H and Stephanie does as being a married couple behind closed doors. It makes you think about the people in real life when you see this episode. But other than that, I absolutely loved it. I mean, I, I love the beginning and I love the middle, but I will say some bad parts about this. It drags. It drags on like an episode of Raw when you're trying to hold on and wait until the third hour. That's how it felt. It did feel like another Family Guy episode. They did do the same Family Guy-esque type of jokes, but it's a learning curve. Like I said for the first two review, the first two uh, two episode reviews that I've done, it's a learning curve, and they still had the whole Family Guy-esque type of jokes going on. But honestly, it was just not really all that great to me. It, it just wasn't. I didn't really enjoy myself that much. And the ending didn't really make any sense. But it's, a, I mean, I would say it's a kid's show, but it's really not. So <laughs> other than that, it's a cartoon. So I guess you can expect stuff to be all weird. But honestly, the beginning and the middle was great. But then leading on to the end was just meh. But leading on to episode four, which is one of my favorites throughout this whole series, this entire series, this is the funniest one by far. Vince is not that into you. Hilarious. I never stopped laughing. And here's the interesting thing about this episode. There was probably little to no profanity in this episode at all, and it was still funny, which shows you that you don't have to curse a lot to be funny. It actually, If you actually do have humor... You can show it in many ways. I'm not against anybody that uses profanity. I am just saying there is a way, that there, there's a time to use it and there's a time not to. And sometimes when people do use it, it's overkill. They barely used it in this episode and it was just funny. I loved it. Triple H by far was hilarious in this episode. And I mean, especially was like, Stephanie, I do a really horrible Triple H um, <laughs> impression. But I will tell you this, it was funny. And Triple H, and I, I'm going to say this, Triple H asking Vince out was hilarious. And yes, he asks Vince out on a date in order to get to Stephanie, he had to get through Vince. That bromance they had was just 
flat out wonderful and just deliciously hilarious. I, I hate to say delicious, but that's the only way I can describe how great this is. It was great. And they had pretty much two plot points. Uh, well, I guess two plots in this episode. You had Triple H trying to ask Vince out in order to get to Stephanie. And then you had the situation with Mark Henry and John Cena. When Mark Henry ate too much lava cake, he got way too bloated and he pretty much had a chocolate baby ready to blow. Now, if you don't know what a chocolate baby is just think about it <laughs> and it's a guy so it ain't a real baby so you can probably just put it together but other than that the fact that he literally had a big old huge bloated gut and <laughs> you had John Cena literally acting like that was a kid in there I'm sorry the, the, the whole the chemistry between Mark Henry and John Cena was just gold it was gold i i loved it especially when the, when it was time <laughs> it was the grossest thing on the planet but other than that it was it was just funny and how everybody was treating the situation was just flat out hilarious for those who have not seen the series if you want to go one series by one go right ahead but honestly, the funniest one, in my opinion, is episode four. Vince is not that into you. I have never laughed so hard in my life over a Camp WWE series, except for this episode. So guys, go and watch. Go and watch episode four. If you have the network, my suggestion to you is to watch episode four. It is funny. I was in stitches. It, I could not stop laughing so hard. I always had tears in my eyes. It was hilarious. But other than that, guys... That is it. My, my thoughts is that episode four by far is better than all of the three. The first three were learning curves, but it seems like that Seth Green is starting to get an idea of where he wants to go, what direction he wants to go with the characters, and how he wants them to react and act. So you can tell there's a lot of growth here. It didn't feel like a Family Guy episode. It felt like a Camp WWE episode. And that's what I loved about it. But guys, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about the first four episodes of Camp WWE season one of Camp WWE? If you are watching that, um, if you are watching that series, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. But I have not seen episode five yet. I know they've already aired it. And I think this is supposed to be the final one of season one. So I'm probably going to watch it. If I feel like doing a review, you're going to see your review up here pretty soon. But other than that, guys, I want to hear your thoughts. It's Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out, y'all. Later.